Okay, if you are an artist, illustrator, animator, or otherwise a creative who does not want to feed the generative AI algorithms and have your data and your artwork and your animations and everything scraped to be used against your will, what I'm doing today will be helpful. So get on the desktop version of Instagram and sign in, click on this little hamburger menu on the bottom and go to your activity. Click on your activity, and then you can click here to go to download your information. There'll be some steps that you can do that. Once you do that, you want to check. That'll take a few minutes. You want to check to see if you have everything and you've got all kinds of interesting things that are going on here. You can see all of that. If you go back a little bit further, you'll see that way old stuff. Here's me installing Adobe CS5. It's going to take 461 minutes on disk one of two. Those of you youngins, we used to have to do it on disks. But you can see it's got all the stuff that I have posted um, up until the most recent things. So now that I've got that locally on my computer, I can come in here and I can go photos and videos. I can click on posts. It will load these posts and I can click select and I can select up to a hundred at a time. And so I'm just going to go through here and this is a little bit of a manual process, but um, it's not taking too long. So I'm just going to go in here like this. And I'm going to select up to a hundred, uh, get there. And then you press delete and you press delete again and it deletes it. So in the U S there doesn't seem to be a way that, that we can actually opt out because the EU made it illegal for companies like Meta and others and Google to do this stuff without any types of permissions. And they're making it a, an opt out instead of an opt in, which I find to be uh, very unethical. So anyway, so I'm going to delete all this and I am going to put up just a few posts talking about how I don't consent and where you can find me. So if you're following me on Instagram, I'm going to be doing a lot more stuff on Substack and YouTube. I might be trying out Kara or Kara. I don't know how we're supposed to pronounce that, but I'll be trying out some of those things so you guys can check those things out. So I'll be deleting everything and I'm leaving my account up um, because I still use it to connect with people and things like that. But so I am going to be posting new art, but then I will take it down after a little while. Um, I already nuked my Twitter a little while ago during all that type of stuff. And so you can still find me on YouTube and uh, wherever else I go, you can always find me at coreykerr.com slash email because the email newsletter is the only thing where if you want to see something, you can choose to see it. And if I want to show you something, I can choose to show it. And if both of us agree to that, then there's no billionaires in the middle saying that you can or can't see this or that I need to pay for you to see it or that you only get to see this other stuff that they want to show you to the advertisers and whatnot. So anyway, jump on to coreycurrier.com slash email and uh, get on my sub stack where I will be kind of doing some more of this type of stuff. So in my in my email newsletters, I'm going to I'm going to be updating some of those types of things. And I'll be putting a lot of this on my blog at coreycurrier.com slash blog. So we will see you guys later. Um, yeah. Whatever you decide to do with your Instagram account, I still want to stay connected. So hopefully we can do that. Go make stuff.